Hey guys, here's a real operation fly test of CW15 VTOL Fiswing UAV. CW15 VTOL is developed by JOUAV, which is the leading enterprise of VTOL Fiswing UAV in the world. Alright, here we go. The UAV is taking off vertically. Wow, pretty nice. It's not shaking at all. This bird seems very stable. I like it. It will keep climbing up like this until up to 20 meters. Actually, you can preset 10 meters, 15 meters, 30 meters or more according to the environment. Okay, now it's going to be transitional flight from vertically takeoff to level flight, which is from quadcopter mode to physical mode. It's going far and climbing up to the designated altitude which is around 250 meters above ground. Since the bird is swimming in the sky, let's have an overview of this CW15 bird. The wingspan of this UAV is around 3.6 meters, while the max takeaway is 16.5 kilograms. The max low is 3 kg. The cruise speed is from 65 until 105 km per hour. It can be operated under more than 12 meters per second wind speed during cruising. Let's see the advantages of CW15. Firstly, of course, is vertical takeoff and land. No additional complicated bulky launches or recovery blocking nets are needed. And no runway is required. It can vertically take off and land on the mountains by the rivers near the farmland, on the top of the building or others. It has low requirements for the takeoff and landing site. Secondly, it has the fast speed, long endurance advantages of this wing. The speed can reach 65 until 105 km per hour and can last for 160 minutes in the air with empty load. Thirdly, there is both RTK and PPK system inside this system. PPK is for precision screen job, while RTK it is for precision landing. When the UAV return and land, it can land exactly where the landing point is with RTK positioning assistance, no more than 10 cm different. Fourthly, the system has dual GPS and dual magnetic compass. If the main GPS or main magnetic compass fail, it can smoothly switch to the backup GPS and magnetic compass. Fifthly, there are dual GNSS antennas for orientation, which makes the system still working in case the magnetic compass are failed as some kind of magnetic interference environment. Number six, the UAV can take off at the altitude of 4,500 meters while the max ceiling can reach 7,500 meters above sea level. Number seven, the system has a strong and powerful autopilot so it is auto, one key to take off, cruise, return and land automatically. No remote controller or other manual interference needed. Number eight, the system has multiple fail-safe mechanisms such as low power return, communication time map return, altitude change dramatically return on land and others to keep the UAV safe. At last, the system has a special version which can take off and land vertically on a mobile ship or fleet. It is good for Navy or Coast Guard mission. CW15 is a versatile flight platform. It can mount with different payloads to achieve different applications. Here we can see it can mount with more than 8 kinds of payloads. There are phase 1 100 megapixel industrial camera, 42 megapixel RGB camera for orthographic, both 120 or 210 megapixel full frame oblique camera for 3D modeling, and there are multi spectral or hyper spectral camera for agriculture or forestry or other application. And it can also carry aeromagnetic sensor for mining or geological survey. It can also carry 50 times optical zooming and infrared camera for real time surveillance. The gimbal can rotate 360 degrees so there's no blind angle. This is the dual screen ground control station. The system can lock and track a car, human, both day and night. The car plane number can be seen clearly. For surveillance, there are two types of ground control station. One is dual screen professional GCS. The other option is handheld GCS, suitable for single person mission. All right, the introduction finished here. The bird is coming back and prepared to learn. It already stayed in the air for two hours. Now it's turning to quadcopter mode and prepare to land vertically. It's autonomous landing, no remote controller or other manual interference. And with RTK positioning assistance, it is landing exactly where it took off, very precision landing.
and very nice stable wood.